non-perishable foods. We got uh, baby items and baby formulas and diapers and that type of thing. Um, we got any types of work gloves, uh, rubber gloves. We have uh, masks for uh, the mold. You could probably throw a stone and hit someone in the Grand Strand who has family. All my family is up in Staten Island and also New Jersey area. We're friends. There are some people we still haven't even talked to from Long Beach. Still fighting the aftermath of Sandy. Scary to think of. We don't know. I'm going to take the trash bags and I'll put them in the box. Michael Fang. They told me don't bother coming up, um, and I just felt helpless. Couldn't drive the 750 miles to see his family in Rockway, New York, but felt something had to be done. And with uh, shelter issues and, and no heat and that type of thing. There's a reality that if we go there to help, that we might just make it worse. Coastal Carolina Shield, made up of 300 retired police officers, gathered supplies. <laughs> and packed and donated a 24-foot rental truck to go up north. And I guess people feel like uh, because they're up in New York and New Jersey that um, it's such a metropolitan, large metropolitan area that they could be self-sufficient when really it was such a widespread disaster that it's, uh, that it's not, so much, not so much. They need the help of the rest of the nation. I felt bad. I didn't have any money to donate, so I wanted to do this instead. By late morning, many churchgoers on their way home stopped, went shopping and came back to give items. Thanks for coming down. It's something organizers say will go to good use. We're going to get this done, and if we have to keep doing this over and over and over again, we'll just keep doing it. Until the need is no more. In Merle's Inlet, Lindsay Thies, News Channel 15.